what's up everybody welcome back to the channel um, today I'm gonna be getting into doing a door panel replacement on this 2007 Escalade you guys seen me work on it before so um, the door handle they go pretty bad on these and on the older Silverados and Denali's uh, just kind of got to get it ready to get it sold so we got a new car so no need for this one so just gonna give it a quick clean up fix a few things that were wrong with it nothing major just cosmetic stuff and get it ready to, to put up for sale so I'll, I'll show you guys what, what we got going on right now so this is a common issue with these trucks so if you can see let me see if I can get it on there that little metal piece right there supposed that's an insert it goes into the plastic door handle it's not supposed to be loose like that so you know over time with the heat and stuff it just goes off so I'm just using a little a little pick right here to move these little clips out There's just three bolts. Set those aside. Next, um, the window switches. Um, there's a clip in the front and the rear. You also got a clip up. So I'm gonna pry up with a flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna use this microfiber towel to protect. Um, so we don't get any scratches. Oops. Put that there. I'm just gonna put it on the edge. Pop that right up. And up front, you don't want to put too much pressure, just kind of slide your fingers a little bit underneath it. There it is. To remove the, to remove all of this, plug just little tabs on them. Just press in, pull out while holding it in. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Let me set these aside for now. Also, this little um, piece, not sure if you guys can see that. Let's see. I can't even see that too well. Just adjust the camera a little bit. This little triangle also has to come off. Sometimes you can just stick your fingers behind it. Pull it out. to remove door panel just kind of can also time i'm able to just jam my hand underneath these things right here see make sure you guys can see that i just want to wait for a place where you can slide your fingers like right here and then just gently pull you'll feel where the clips are yes baby All right, so next thing that we need to get done, just hold it up here. I need to hold this. It's this wire here. This wire you see here? That's for the door handle. Also, let's see what else do we have here? This little black wire. This little plug right there. That's for the that's for the courtesy light, I guess they call it. So that's also a plug. So let me get these off and I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, so door panel is off. Um, the light switch, same thing, it's just a little clip that's on the other end that you just slide a screwdriver under it or a pick and it'll just slide off. And this one, and you can see those, these two little plastics that are hanging on the outside. So those are actually hold, what's holding it in. So you have to kind of squeeze them with like a needle nose plier and at the same time slide it out and then this little ball goes into the door handle which has also has a slot. You just line it up, pull out the slot and that's it. 
So next, let's see here. Get this door handle. Let's see. To get to this door handle. Okay. I'm gonna get over here. Okay. You need it? You just use it. Okay, I don't need it right now. So we are gonna have to connect the the window regular. I mean the, the window switches again because I gotta roll this window back up in order to get to that handle. And we slowly gotta start peeling this back. So this is kind of like a like a like a noise installation. Um, keeps on the cabin quiet. So we gotta make sure that we kind of pull on this slowly. I mean, there's no other way around it. Just make sure you don't rip it. So I'll go ahead and I'll start doing that right now. And I'll show you guys how it goes. All right, so I managed to get the door handle loose. So correction. There's a black plug that goes in there. It's got two plugs right there. So this bottom one, it just pops up. I just did it with my finger now. And let's see. There's a hole right there in between. Let me see. Right here. That's one bolt. And then on this side where I showed you, the bolt's still in there. I left it in there, but it is already taken off. You can see the other side right there. And basically, the door handle, the way it comes off is got to kind of see how that thing's curved in there. And you just have to like wiggle it out, and then it comes out. So, take this piece off. Let's see here, there's no other clip. Make sure we don't break this. So, you just slide, keep twisting and sliding. It's out. That easy. So, looking at our new door handle. Let me stop the sliding around. Um, comes with the new clips, so that's fine. Um, you can see this is a piece that kept falling off. And that's why it's broken. So, all of this work just for that little piece. By the way, this door handle was purchased on Amazon. Um, I will have a link down in the description to the exact same one that I bought. Um, and also I'll link the other fork because I know that these do go bad on all four. <laughs> so I'll have a link on each one and I'll have them labeled, you know, front left, rear left, rear right, and then front right. Um, right being the passenger side, left being the passenger the driver side. You see my hand? Yeah. <laughs> So, next, obviously, we're going to get this key ring. I mean, key ring, the key slot, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, to get this one off, it's the same thing. It's just a clip. It's a little retaining clip here. Just get it behind there like that, like so. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Slide it back there and pull it back till it's all the way out. Right there. There it is. Slide that bad boy out. I'm done. And the new one does come with a new retaining clip as well. So we gotta take that one out. Slide the. Slide the. What do you guys want to call it? It's a lock mechanism. You want to slide that in there in the appropriate position, just facing outward. Put the new retaining clip and done. So, slide it in. You just First of all, this, like I said, just slides into place. There's no wrong way. This piece right here, it's a little slit, and this little slit, they're different sizes. So, that'll go in. And then, just with your hands, just slide it in. Make sure it's all the way in. Just like that. And you're done. So same thing, just repeat the process just backwards. Let's see. Just slowly slide it into place. Okay. 
I'm not gonna do that too much. Try to do this with one hand and get there we go. Now for this, it actually just slides over this little piece right here. You can see that. So what you're gonna wanna do is my daughter playing with the lights. We can see that how it lines up. Just wanna push it into place until it clips in. Ah, there it goes. Oops, actually, shit. Actually, you're supposed to slide the hand first and then this goes on this side. That's not gonna work. So, I'm gonna slide it back down. So, kinda hard doing this with only one hand, but like this, just like that. So that's what it's supposed to look like there. Slide it in. Real smooth, as smooth as possible. I'm trying to lock it off. Try to break it off. And this little little guy right here goes into that hole. And there's also some little lumps right here. You just notice that the little tips, they slide in there. When you slide it back, kind of pull it into its place, I believe. my hands for this one all right yeah there it is need both my hands need to press down on this at the same time as you're shoving it back so you do need both of your hands let's see how good is the alignment yep right there and awesome Ratchet and slowly creep it into its place. Remember, if I went through the top or through the bottom here, actually, what you can do is just give it your hand. Um, six foot one, so pretty big hands, but and then as you can see in there, you can actually start to start it with your hand. I fixed it. Fixed it. Yeah. Cool. Good job. So. That one got started. The second one, there's no way you can get your hand in there. Put that one on the, the socket. Slowly push it into its place. Hand tighten it. Always hand tighten it first. That's sometimes it's tempting to use your impact drill and stuff like that. This is you're dealing with some plastic parts here, so. It's always better to just use your hands. Now, like I said, these don't use a lot of pressure. There's not a lot of, you know, moving parts and stuff like that. So it's just, you know, just hand snug and tight. Not too crazy. A little bit back here. And just hand snug it. Yeah, that's it. Just like this guy. Let's put this guy in here first. This just gets pressed in. Nothing ever happened. So we go behind here. Nothing ever happened. That's it. Alright, so I just want to show you guys on this one. Um if you guys can see it. Adjust it. Yeah. Oh, trying to do all this together. So you're trying to fix it and when you're done you be fenced. Yep. So these are all different sizes, so there's not really a right way and a wrong way when to put these. Done, see? Either, you'll be done. And when you put this, put it back. See? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do things. That's how I learned how to, how to do some of the stuff. Just um, you know, not, not be scared of doing it yourself, you know. Save yourself some money and just, you know, just try it. So, 
thing. And then clip right back in its place. It's the mess. So clips back in, panels back in, locks back in, this is back in. Um so I'm gonna show you guys, make sure the doors are locked. Much better. Ever since I bought the truck, that has been something that was damaged. So, you know, it's actually kind of worn out. That's all. It's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be that loose either. So, that's it. So, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, so, yeah. If you guys have any more questions, comments, leave them down below. Like I said, I'll link everything down in the description of all the parts that I used. And. I guess we're done with this one, so have you guys a good one. See you guys on the next one.